Hey everybody, I got something super cool here today. Uh, there's a service called Watch Gang, and essentially what they do is they send you out a watch every month for a certain amount of money. So they have three tiers. You can pay $30 and get a watch worth $100. You could pay $100, get a watch worth up to $500, or you could pay $300, which what I did, and get a watch worth up to $1,500. So if it seems too good to be true, it's not. The way it works is that they essentially find companies that are trying to close out on certain lines that they're, they're done selling with, so to bring in new collections. And so they basically get them at cost, or some of these companies will even lose money to sell them the watches and then they move them on to you. It works because you don't get to choose what watch you get. It's a mystery. So I brought the camera around so that you guys could do the unboxing with me. I got my trusty blade. Oh, by the way, they give away Rolexes every week, I believe, as part of the uh, service. So let's see what I got in the box right here. October 2018. Nice, nice. So they gave away a Rolex. They have, Se uh, so Friday Rolex giveaway, Saturday is Seiko, and Tuesday tag. All right, fascinating. And then there's just paper. All right, let's take off the box. Let's see what else is in here before we... They gave me two of these. They like me that much. Okay, so it says Ufa on the box. I don't know the brand Ufa. Let's open this up. The box is very nice. I will not lie. Whole paper booklet here. Oh, damn. What is this? Uh, all right. It's a Miyota 9122 movement. So that's been established. No, it's not. Might be in Miyota 90. I don't know why they gave every movement description in this. And then this is a little card. It says warranty. Let's take this bad boy out. I don't even know where the box opens from. Where does this box open from? Oh, wait, there we go. Oh, it's actually quite nice. It's a very clean, classy watch. Okay, so the watch is pretty. I went online and I, I checked out how much it would cost. I only found it being sold in one place because it's hard to find the model number. They didn't give any information on the model number, but I found it sold for 715 on Shopzilla. And their other models ranged between, for what looked like quartz models, $400 to mechanical models like this for over a thousand. So all in all, I'm sure I got my money's worth. There's a couple things that bother me with this watch. Now, this is not Watch Gang's fault. A lot of the time they go after micro brands, so these smaller brands that are, are starting out or trying to sell their inventory. The problem is here, there's a lot of contradictory information and I can't get a clarification on what's what. So this watch says on the case back, made in Germany, on the movement, Swiss made, and then in the book, when I look at the exact movement being used, or the dial, the same dial, they're using a Miyota 9015, which is a cool movement, but it's a Japanese movement. So is it Japanese, is it Swiss, or is it German? So either they're being disingenuous and it's using a Miyota 91.5 and they just did some slight modifications in Switzerland and claimed it's a Swiss movement. I hate when companies do that. It actually makes me lose respect for them. Um, or it's a Swiss movement and it's listed wrong. Um, and this company, by the way, is not Ufa, it's Dufa. I got the name wrong. Uh, I'm gonna come in and show you guys some close-ups of the watch. It's actually a pretty watch. Uh, and then we can go over all the details on it. So let's get in closer and look at the watch. They actually did a nice job on the rotor. So here we are with the watch. As you can see, it is actually super thin. It's a nice dress watch. I'm guessing that's probably around 11 millimeters, 10 to 11 millimeters. Uh, if I had to guess, it's a sapphire crystal. I'll post that in the details if it's not. If it's not, that's kind of upsetting. Uh, but the crystal does have a nice little uh, look to it. Uh, the back is where they, they seem to have done a nice job. The rotor seems to be completely custom. Uh, it says Dufa on it. There it is on the wrist. It's actually nice. There's a bit of a yellow tint to my camera. That's just because of the lighting here. But let's just close it up. So, it's actually a cool service because you just don't know what you're getting and I like the mystery of it all. That's the watch on my wrist. I'm guessing it's around a 40 to 42 millimeter. It doesn't feel like a big watch. So just some more details on what I like and don't like on the piece. Um, I'm doing this handheld, so I'm sorry that it might shake a little bit. I very much like the numerals and the elevation of the numerals over the slight changes 
on the dial. So there's a little bit of texture and depth to the dial. Um, I like the thinness of the hands, but one of the things I don't like is the color of the hands. I don't like the blue and the rose gold and the, the brown all together. I think it's just a little much on a watch of this style. It's a really simple watch. Uh, and so within that, I think everything works. Uh, I think they, they did a good job on it. Uh, it does say made in Germany there on the bottom. Uh, and let's just turn it around and look at the rotor in a little bit more detail in the movement and a little bit more detail here. The leather strap is also really nice. I would have liked to see a butterfly buckle or deployment, uh, deployment buckle on, uh, a watch like this just because it has a very dressy feel uh they did do a nice job on on the rotor for the movement uh 26 joules as you can see there it says swiss made and then under it made in germany uh i'm going to try and find out the details to clarify that in the description below so yeah uh overall i think it's a clean watch uh the rose gold tint as i said is not for me on this kind of piece and the blue hands that's not their fault they couldn't have known and that's kind of the surprise of watch gang anyway that you don't necessarily get something that you would normally buy uh in this case i actually overall think i am going to keep this watch just because i don't have one like it because i wouldn't have picked up something like this on my own